Okay, so this is the frigate. And it's the first level we start out without the PP7. At least I think it is. You can just see the vast nothingness. This is one of the weirder levels in the game, and honestly one of the shittiest ones. Because it introduces a, a really lame gun. The D, D5K or DK5, whatever, Deutsch, which is just the MP5. You start off with a silenced one, which is pretty cool. And I like using it. It does help you be stealth for a little bit, but there's basically no real point in using it after you get the two phantoms. Which I just picked up from this guy. You get it really early in the level. It's just an upgraded version of the D, uh, D5K. Which is just a worse uh, KF7 Soviet. Because it can't zoom in. They do like the same amount of damage, but it can't zoom in. And in the control level, that really sucks. But that's really just a different weapon for different guards. Because you're not fighting the Russians right now. You're fighting the... Uh, the Janus or Janus, whatever, Marines. But none of this happens in the movie at all. There's no hostages. There's no just Bond goes out on a little speedboat into the middle of the ocean and then has to defuse bombs on computers and, you know, goes on a, a ship full of Marines. You know, the Janus guys aren't even really shown yet by that point in the movie. But yeah, that's one of the tacked-on objectives that I don't like doing, is just defuse the bombs. I like the sound effect, but I don't like uh, doing that. I don't like having to find them. They're not hard to find. There's only two, but it just feels like an extra objective. But because that's all it is. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I was just looking around for that guy. This level can get kind of confusing, just because it... It's kind of a labyrinth. You don't really know where you're going a lot of the time. Well, I don't anyway. It all kind of looks the same. I was trying to save, like, every hostage. I recorded this a while ago, like, quite some time ago. I remember having a problem saving every hostage. You don't have to. You can let some of them die. I think you can let more of them die on Agent. When I was a kid, I would always let a lot of them die on Agent, but just because I wasn't good enough to save them. But I really knew the layout when I was recording this, so I was able to get them all. A lot of, like, uh, Goldeneye on Double Agent and, like, you know, same with Perfect Dark, it's just knowing the layout of the enemies. But this this level, I don't know, it's okay, but it's cool to use the Double Phantoms, but this is, like, the only time you ever use them. I think they do just as much damage as a regular D5K or a regular KF7. But they can't zoom in, which is lame, but they have a lot of ammo, so you can shoot a hundred bullets if you have two of them without ever reloading. I don't know how they even saw me. But only some of the guards have phantoms, but it all uses the same ammo. And even like later in the middle of the, of the level, there's a guard with two D5Ks. I don't know why you'd even use those, because it's just not going to be as much ammo. Now here's the helicopter that Xena and Oromov steal in the movie. And there's actually models of Xena in the helicopter outfit still in the game's code, I believe. But you have to place a tracing bug on this, which uh, Bond does not do in the movie. In fact, I don't even think... Um, I can't get through. I don't even... Yeah, he doesn't even get near it. Uh, I, I, I don't know why the, the helicopter's even really in this level other than it was in the movie. I used to think that the hostages went there to to escape, because they bet the despawning point. And right here, when you come up behind, there's only three guys in that room. I remember I really liked coming up through there as a kid. I thought it was really cool. It'd be all stealthy. And this is a room I really remember. Like, shooting them through those holes, and, uh... Like, if you shoot them a missile, they start running around, but they won't be able to get to you. And I used to have a lot of fun doing that. I used to really like this level as a kid. This is one of my favorite levels as a kid. And if you shoot the computers with the plastic on them, they'll explode. It's the same plastic you use in the silo level. And that's the last computer with it in there. Uh, this engine room, I do kind of like the look of. and It's really iconic for the game, I think. And it, it, Level design like this, like these rooms, these sprawling rooms, it was still pretty new at the time. And it was actually very new. And, you didn't have things like going into an engine room and there'd be an engine noise until you leave. You know, Rare was really good about stuff like that. 
Yeah, there's another hostage over there. I used to really like saving this particular hostage. I like how they held them at gunpoint. I thought it looked cool. But I don't know why they just are all holding them at gunpoint, waiting to execute them until you show up. But saving the hostage is, an is another thing like don't kill the scientists, just a tacked on objective. But saving the hostages is at least kind of fun. This is the only level you do that. It's just a lesser escort mission, I guess. And there's a ton of them right here. I remember getting really frantic at this part. Well, mainly as a kid. And I don't really remember recording this all that well. This is several months ago. But uh, the part in the movie that this level is based off of is like the lamest scene in the movie. And the first time I ever saw Bond fail at something, there was some big, like, British Navy like ceremony going on in a bigger boat it wasn't like the frigate at all it wasn't like an industrial ship like this it was like a nice yacht or something and Oromov and Xena or Xenia whatever their names are uh, never whatever her name is kill two helicopter pilots and hijack this helicopter in front of everybody thinking they're the pilots that they're dressed as the pilots and Bond knows and he runs up to try and stop them but he's just completely stopped by the, the guards on the ship or whatever and then the scene just the scene just fades out as they fly away in the helicopter. And he has this like, really stupid expression that I remember. I've seen the movie a lot. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I have a ton of nostalgia for it, even though it's really just a subpar, you know, espionage movie. It sucks when things lose their magic. And this game has really lost its magic, but <laughs> it's still fun to play, but it has aged horribly. And it's like one last thing I really remember about the levels, besides getting lost. But it was, I, I would use that uh, silenced D5K and pretend it was a laser gun before I got in the later levels and found the Moonraker laser and stuff, because it kind of sounded like a laser gun. I remember thinking that silenced D5K was really cool. But yeah, you basically just leave this level, which is kind of weird. You just go back to the speedboat. I think this is the only level where you like, just go right back to the beginning. And this was a glitch I would normally do, and it should have worked. Or that would normally explode, but I think it just clipped through the fucking boat, so whatever. I had a couple of exploits like that that... That's not exploits, little tricks like that. That everybody fucking knows about anyway.